What's up everybody and welcome to Apocalypse Gaming. We all have seen the new Thief Catcher event in our kingdoms and there is a lot of questions about this event. So today on the stream I have done this event more than 10 times to give you the best way you could complete this event. If you're interested make sure you stay on to watch this video. Are you ready? Let's go! Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you like more Rise of Kingdom content. Guys, let's get into it. I'm gonna list for you the things you need to do to get the best score possible doing the Thief Catcher. Again, like I mentioned, I've done this event more than 10 times this morning. We've tested every possible way to try to find the best way you could get the maximum amount of points to get you in the top 10 even top one so my best recommendation for you are first of all you need to use your best five six seven marshes depend if you're in kvk or not you need to use your best five marshes i do not recommend moving to barbarian commanders because it doesn't work you don't get more beta points so that's the first thing best marshes you need to get an attack rune if you could you need to use an attack boost. You need to use the right city skin. If you have an attack city skin, will be great. Otherwise, I use the skill damage, uh, Twilight Fall, which is what we all use. And the other thing you need to do, you need to make sure you have War Frenzy, which is going to help you a lot. And as well, on top of all these things I've said you need, you will also need to make sure you allocate your commanders that you're going to use for that run in the commander view so make sure every single commander you're using going to be here we're trying to get the maximum amount of you know damage uh to get points and the other thing during the the event when you plan the event there is a couple of things that happen you can see in the uh, event here it tells you that highlight here it is whenever one of your troops move inside an energy ring you will gain one stack of energized effect for every stack of the energized effect you have all your troops will deal five percent more damage to the thief and you can stack it so i did one run trying to collect all this uh gold ring and i didn't end up getting better score so the best best thing is to use your seven marshes get the rune uh do war frenzy right city skin get your command of you set up properly and all you need to do is start attacking and don't stop until the end but there is a couple of tricks i have to teach you to make you better at this event first of all you need to make sure you teleport yeah you teleport in a very good place what's a good place is a place with so many cities around you can see here in my alliance most of my Alliance member took their spot. This is the best spot to do the event. First thing, you're going to do it on the Alliance territory, most likely. And the second thing, which is most important, when the debuff happens, you know how you get an arrow or you get locked in your place or all the things. If you actually identify the actual troop with uh, a red arrow on them that are going to be debuffed and you move them into a city or a flag or a resource node, it will remove that debuff that can't be placed on them innocently. So this is why it's very good to play on uh, your territory close to cities and flags. It makes that much easier. Once you see you have the red arrow on your marsh, you're going to get locked. You jump in the city and it makes it innocently disappear, which is going to make you attack longer. And the last and most important thing that you need to focus on is before the Korak or uh, the thief, sorry, uh, disappear because he disappears for like five seconds then appears again what you need to make sure you're doing is you make sure you attack you click on attack mark all your troops you have the attack in the croc and wait until he disappear once he disappear you need to click attack it's that simple so before he disappear once you can see him and you're gonna say you know i'm gonna see you soon catch me if you can something like that you click on him 
Before you disappear, you click attack and mark all your marshes and click attack. Once he disappears, click attack. You will continue to attack him even when he disappears. And this is how you don't lose rage and you continue to attack. So guys, it's very simple and very easy. You don't need insane amount of things. You just need to make sure you have the right mar marshes. You need the right city skin, rune, command of you sorted. Your city is in the Alliance territory close to cities and resource nodes to help you remove the debuff before it placed on your marshes. Ignore the gold rings. You're going to get team 11 without even trying. Focus on attacking the thief from the moment you start to the moment you end. Get your war frenzy. Don't forget that one as well. And if you get all of these things, you're going to be guaranteed to get the maximum amount of points out of your account it's not guaranteed to get first position because someone maybe have a strong account but it will guarantee you a good position in your kingdom and here it is guys i hope that helps you make sure you get every single thing i see it done before you start the event and one more bonus tip because you stayed to the end of this video at any given time in the last 20 seconds, if you notice that your score is not high enough, you can always click on the thief and abandon the uh, try without losing a chance. You're only given three chances and it doesn't renew a reset. So if you come to the last 20, 30 seconds and you notice you're not dealing enough damage previously to the score you had before, click on the thief, abandon and start again. I wish you all the best. I hope that helps you and I hope you comment that you got top spot. Thanks a lot for watching Apocalypse Gaming, and I'll see you next time. Come closer. Boom, boom, baby. Let's go.